Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Luna Faye, and today we're playing Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Keep in mind, this is still an early access game, but with that, let's get playing. All right, guys, it is Dream Snaps Day. So our last challenge was the pet challenge. So this is our picture that we're being raided on. And then let's see what our score is. 4,000. Ooh. We got 3,558. That's probably one of our best scores. 4,000 Moonstones. Let's claim those. And then I'll show you our picture. It was for... Uh, what was the challenge again? Oh, Autumn, right? Uh, event. Yeah, it was the... Yeah, fun with fall. So here's our picture. I did it in front of Fairy Godmother's house because it's like a pumpkin and I put in some like fall decorations. I got like my outfit that's more like fallish. So this is my picture. I really, I think I turned out really cute. So I like it. Um, let's do some voting and see what other people did. I'm really curious to see. Oh, okay, two night ones. Oh, that's cool. So they did like the new fountain and stuff and then they did like the pa uh, vegetable patch kind of like what i did um i think I, I really like both of these i'm gonna go with this one i think just because i like pumpkins <laughs> okay look she's got the scarecrow all the pumpkins donald's in his little costume and she's got like a farmer's market thing going on. I, I I like both. I really like both. This week so far is really good, but I'm gonna go with that one. Oh yeah, right in front of the fairy godmother's cat. I figured a lot of people might do that because it's like pumpkin. This one's uh, uh, no, that's not even close. So this one. Okay, she got the same dress on that I had. It seems like a lot of people went with the same kind of theme that I did. <laughs> Um, I, with the winter and stuff, I don't know. I like this one a bit more, so I'm going to go with that one. No, this one for sure. Okay, she's got like the Winterford hair. I like the colors and like the garden patch. This one's just like a bunch of shit put in there. Let's go with this one. Oh, okay. Both of these are really cool. They've got like the, um... The hotel, the pumpkins, get the raven, the fountain. This is really cool. This is really nice too. It's just got like the pumpkins and the little like uh, sitting area. I don't know which one I like more. I think this one I would like a little more if she had stepped back a little bit. Oh, that's the hill. Yeah, if she would have stepped back a little bit. So this was more up front instead of just having like this big empty space. So, I like the way this one shot more. So, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. These are both really nice. I like them. I like this one a bit more, though. Okay. This one did it inside. Interesting. This one's, like, really low. I would pick this one if the angle was a little better. So, I'm going to go with this one. And last one, let's go with this one. That's cool. I should have done mine at night too. Oh well. Um, so okay, so we got our moonstones. We've got, so let's check the shop. Ah, oh, yes, they brought the house. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I want both. Oh, can I get both? I think I can get both. Three, four, maybe I can get both. Let's see. Which one do I want more? I kind of want this one a little more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get it. Perfect. And we have enough for this one, too. Let's do it. Yeah, 
and there's all of our moonstones. <laughs> all right. Um, I still haven't worked on this, so we're still in the same spot here. Oh, okay, yeah, let's check out what this one... Ooh. Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Playful. Mandatory, rustic, simple, frightfully festive. Ooh, okay, so they wanting us to, yeah, use all the decorations that we got. Okay. Have a holly jolly haunting in your valley as you celebrate the Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be fun. I like this. Um, let's see what we got in our chest. We already have that. I don't think we have that, and we might already have that. I want to put that dress on. Time for an outfit change! Do we have better gloves? Don't zoom in. I just do rings. And let's change out the necklace. I'm gonna keep our beast horns. And check the earrings. Mm. Those ones work. Oh, let's go check Scrooge's. Oh, yeah. So I did make friends with the little raccoons. So now we have a little pet raccoon. <laughs> little trash panda. And I cleaned up the night thorns a bit. I did. I was able to get back on yesterday after I filmed. And oh, that's a new rock. Um, I made this mic tree for Scrooge. Um, I got all the like quests caught up so we can just start turning that stuff in. Uh, one of them is going to be for Scrooge because of the microphone. But let's see what all the cool stuff oh, is that we've got now. Neighbor. Whoa, That's nice. Huh? Black wall. Oh. Didn't we get the white one yesterday? Yeah, speaker. Uh huh. <laughs> huh? Oh! Bye bye. Like we have all that. Yeah. We'll talk to you in a minute, Wally. Let's get the clothes. Uh huh. <laughs> Beast pants. Mom's Brazil Hello. shirt. Bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hey. Hmm. Goodbye I wonder now. if I should do an indoor picture this Hello. time because I bet a lot Hi. of people are going to go outside in the Hello. Forgotten Lands with their pictures. I don't know. Maybe I should do an inside picture. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, what's up here? Ooh. Cool window. Huh? Definitely <laughs> take that. Bye bye. Some counters. I think we have that one. I like that one. That one was pretty. Yeah, we have that one. Oh, three counters, really? All right, Scrooge. I got stuff for you. Huh? Greetings and salutations. A kingdom for a scroll. Thank you kindly, Luna. Now here's all you need to know to find the scroll. I hid it away in the valley before the forgetting. So I'm not clear on the details, but I trust you'll find it. I buried the scroll in a locked chest near a cave on Dazzle Beach, though I cannot remember which one. As for the key to open the chest, you'll have to fish it out from the pool in the glade. The one with the ruins. Okay. Happy searching, Luna. And thank you again for the Mike Berry tree. <laughs> bye bye. Oh yeah, here's your cash register key. Huh? 
Well, pluck my tail feathers and call me Baldy. <laughs> Luna, you found my cash register key. Thank you kindly. I know I can always count on you to fix the problems others have caused. Oh. Yeah, that's for sure. And I hope my nephew learned his lesson this time. Bye bye now. Okay, let's talk to Wally. I kind of like our mismatch of like oh. the wings and the horns and the dress. We needed to do a different hair, maybe. Wow. I'm really glad we got to do all these things together. Do you feel like you belong here a little more? Ooh. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh man, Wally, we haven't leveled you up at all. Hey, right, bro. Actually, let's do our hair. What kind of hair should we do? That's too much. Why can't I remember what kind of hair Sally has? That's cool. Should we go short? That's cute. Oh yeah, I unlocked this hair yesterday. Hmm. Let's go with short hair. That's actually pretty cute. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, so because Vanilla is always asleep whenever I record, like she's probably asleep right now. Oh, she's not. Well, she, I talked to her yesterday because I was like, well, she's always asleep. So I wanted to get her quest going. So I talked to her and she wanted me to make the, the valley more candy friendly. So she had me plant some candy and it turned into these peppermints. So I just wanted to harvest those with you guys and then we can give them to her bring the candy sprouts to Vanellope here you go Vanellope and then I think we're gonna make candy trees hey there hey these candy cane sprouts look great okay stand back I learned this trick back in sugar rush Ta-da! Now you can decorate around my house with these candy cane trees. Yeah. I also found you some more stuff to make things extra sweet. Take these giant lollipops and these sugar cookie pavements too. You should put uh, at least half of the decorations around my house. Oh, and make a racetrack. Cute. Oh, so many. Oh, wow, so many. Okay, okay so we have that to do. Um, I want to talk to Scar, and I think he was down in his house, right? Yeah. Actually, before we talk to Scar, let's grab up all these orbs. I have tons of orbs floating around over here. Sword the stone. Money. More money. Beauty and the Beast. Mom's Zinc. Oh, that one's almost done. Okay, let's go talk to Scar. There you are. A pile of old bones, Luna. Don't tell me she's trying to frighten me with these. Mother Gothel says I need to turn these to ashes. 
And then she said a bunch of stuff about the circle of life. She also said that you tried to turn her into a three-course meal once. Mm. Oh, that again? Bah. I wasn't hunting her. <laughs> I was merely patrolling the Sunlight Plateau to ensure the safety of the whole village. Yeah, sure you were, Scar. I believe you. Oh, come on, Scar. I don't buy this. Eh, whatever. I don't want to be mean. Oh, goody, then you'll believe what I have to say next. I saw her burying something in the ground before scurrying away. Naturally, I was worried for the safety of the village, so I decided to investigate. Uh -huh. A mysterious flower grew where I'd seen her digging. It wasn't long before she came back, so I pounced. She was planting a flower? That's strange. Yes, and she was looking through some item she'd pilfered from that windbag with the pointy blue head feather. She buried the ashes from old bones and a flower grew there. This is what she meant by the circle of life. The old bones grew into a flower, literally. <laughs> oh dear, you're starting to babble like the bothersome unhinged man mandro. We've only got one problem. How do we turn these bones to ash? Yes, well, I may have a solution. There's a volcanic geyser inside my cave. Put the bones in there. The heat and pressure should do the trick. Then I suppose you'll just have to gather the ashes and bury them. That's all? Sounds pretty simple. Don't forget to water the flower or it will never grow. You may leave now. Okay. Well, that was quick. Okay, we got the ashes. Plant the ashes somewhere in Sunlight Plateau. Okie dokie. I'm gonna do it right here. Boop. Plant the ashes. It's already raining. Oh, so for Anna's quest for Kristoff's um, climbing gear, I needed a fabric and you need cotton to make fabric, so I planted a bunch of cotton. Maribel, let's do Hola. your quest. So how did it go with Mr. McDuck? Is he still mad? He was happy to get his cash register key back. He still seems a bit mad at Donald though. Mm. I just wish they could get along like they used to. Sure, they'd have the occasional quarrel, but nothing like this. I have so many family photos of them from before the forgetting. Wait, huh? photos, Whoa. that's it. I'll find a happy photo of them in my album, make a frame, then maybe if we brought them together for a nice dinner and... Whoa, slow down. How about you find the photo and I'll make the meal in the frame. I want to be a part of the solu solution. Solving this too. I'll give you time to find the perfect photo. I don't want to go overboard again. Um, I want to help. Huh. That would be great. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Maybe the frame could be themed to something they both love. Well, Donald loves a boat and Scrooge McDuck is a renowned inventor, so maybe a seashell frame? I should put glass, softwood, clams, and scallops together to make yeah. it. That would totally work, Luna. And the meal, I think we should go with something they can share, like a red fruit pie. Here, I just read about it in this recipe book I borrowed from Remy. Thanks. Yeah. Recipe book. Red fruit pie. Okay, did... You need anything? Doesn't look like it. Bippity boppity boo. Moana. Um, I'll pull this in a minute. Oh, Chris, you have something? Oops. Oops. Oi. <laughs> Hi. Wait, could we talk? Oof, a lot of stuff. Okay. Leaving the woods behind. So Maui's secret is coconuts, huh? Well, I'm happy to try it. Let me give you the lie back. 
Ugh, don't give me more crap. My inventory is so full. Now you have everything you need to make soap. I'll start heating up the water. Hey, thanks. Hey. Story to tell. You want me to tell you about my adventures with Donald Duck when the forgetting uh. happened? Uh, well, it really wasn't much of an adventure. We camped out on the Sunlight Plateau for a while until the giant night thorns started to creep up everywhere. Then Donald saw something that got him really mad and he tried to fight it. <laughs> it was just a shadow, but he thought it was a dragon. It was a hummingbird. <laughs> Donald got in a fight with a hummingbird. That's not very heroic. Hummingbirds can be pretty scary. What happened next? Uh, what happened next? After that, we went to the Forgotten Lands. Donald stepped in a puddle and splashed water everywhere. Then a frog jumped down at us. Definitely a frog. Definitely a frog? Not a cool monster. Eesh. Sorry, Luna. I wish I had something more exciting to tell you. After that, we went to the Forest of Valor. And, well, you know the rest. <clears throat> but you should talk to Donald. I bet he'll make it sound a lot more heroic than I did. So long. One more. The Prince of Dark Hair. Hmm, now that you mention it, yeah. I do remember someone like that. But it's kind of fuzzy. Mm -hmm. I used to help some guy with his expeditions out at sea. He'd find rare valley artifacts, and I'd help him take them off his ship and preserve and archive them. Oh. Maybe that's this Eric guy. You know, I might still have some records of his expedition at my house. Oh, right. So I gave Ariel a gift because that was one of our, like, daily duty things to get dreamlight points and she leveled up like two levels and then I accidentally clicked her again and started her mission and she wants us to find Eric yeah. I've got to get some stuff for Donald but if you go look around in there you can probably find them oh I think I skipped something maybe I wrote down where Prince Eric went see ya I wonder how long this is gonna- oh, it's done. Let's fill in that hole. And Moana, what do you need? Hello. Thanks for coming to see me. Oh, Luna, how could I forget about my friend Pua? Oh, right. So her little thing was to pick um, blueberries from the Forest of Valor, so I did that. And then I got a memory, not realizing it was part of the quest memory, so I picked it up and the picture completed and it was Pua. I'll show you in a second. Um, that cute little pig must be so scared. Pua wasn't with us hey when there. Maui and I left the village after the forgetting. Pua must be hiding here somewhere. I don't blame you. Pua is so cute. A loose pig in the valley? A craps. Uh, don't blame ah. yourself. That's nice of you to say. Do you think you could help me find my friend? I will help you find Pua because you are my friend. Thank you. I really appreciate your friendship. Pua must be hiding somewhere in the village. I bet we can lure Pua out of hiding with something to eat. Coconuts would be perfect. See you soon. <laughs> Here you go. I have coconuts, apparently. Hello. I have everything I need. Thank you. With these coconuts, I can figure out a way to lure Pua out. Oh, another leader shard. Goodbye. Don't walk away. There you go. Because you can't bend down and pick it up yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. I'll hold on to this shard along with the other one. I'll figure out a way to lure Pua out of hiding. <gasps> when it's ready, I'll let you know so we can find Pua together. So good. Okay. Your mission's not yeah, I was gonna say your mission's not gonna pop up, is it? Hi Luna, I put my plan to work after you gave me the coconuts. Want to come with me to see if Pua came out into to get them? Uh fingers crossed, let's go. I don't know what fingers crossed means, but it sounds good. Follow me. Goodbye. 
so many missions to do. <laughs> this dress is so cute. <laughs> Look, someone tried to open the coconuts, but didn't manage to do it. I bet it's Pua. Great news. Where did Pua, Pua go? Not to the beach, that's for sure. But you track Pua, and I'll stay in case my friend comes back here. To find a pig, we must think like a pig. Wink. <laughs> that's smart, Luna. Pigs are good trackers. Pua will be thirsty after trying to open all those coconuts. Try to find a place where a pool would feel safe that has plenty of fresh water. To get fresh water, I think Pua went to the meadow? The meadow has fresh water, the forest, and the swamp. I wouldn't go to the swamp. Maybe the meadow. Ah. Yes, good idea. Please check there. Piggy tracks. Uh, okay, let's go to Meadow. Come on, Trash Panda. Sword and Stone. Donald. Morning. Oh my god, so many of them. A story to tell. You want to know what happened when I was on my quest to stop the forgetting with Kristoff? No! You bet, I'll tell you all about my heroism. Let's hear it. One dark and stormy, stormy night, we were camping out on the Sunlit Plateau. Suddenly we saw a huge shadow on the wall of the cliff. It had wings as big as a house. Right, Kristoff told me already, it was a hummingbird. <laughs> hummingbird? Don't be ridiculous, that wasn't a hummingbird. It was a two-headed, 50-foot-tall, fire-breathing dragon. We don't have those in Dreamlight Valley. Not anymore, we don't. Not after I fought that one off with my own two hands. Donald, you're such an idiot. Next, we went to the Forgotten Lands, where things got even worse. Right, Kristoff told me you fell in a puddle and a frog jumped out. What? No. That's not what happened. <laughs> A giant chasm opened up beneath me, then a sea monster grabbed me and tried to drag me in. Oh, that's scary? Uh-huh. Forgive me if I have trouble believing this. What? It's all true. I fought that sea monster off and saved Kristoff too. After that, we went to the forest of Valor and a horrible evil- oh wait, you know the rest. None of that is even close to what Kristoff told me. Well, then his memory must still be messed up. That's exactly how it happened. What's well, not, you liar? Um. Goodness level check. Oh, so this one is stitches. There was like Donald signs everywhere. And they like, they had like Donald's face on him and then they were like drawn on. Hey, Donald, I'd found these signs with a picture of you in the peaceful meadow. Yeah, and they were all in the, the meadow at each of the entrances. Um, picture of you in the peaceful meadow, but it looks like someone drew on it. Fuck, yeah. what's the big idea? Who would? Oh, I know who it was. It was Stitch. If he does that again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, whack. Calm down. Take a deep breath. What's wrong? How can I help? Maybe I should stay out of this. What's wrong? How can I help? Finally, somebody around here wants to help me for a change. What are you talking about? I'm always helping everybody. I keep telling everybody we have a Stitch problem, but does anyone listen? No. What did Stitch do to get you so riled up? Okay. First, he won't stop bothering me, leaving teeth marks in my platoon, stealing the worms out of my tackle box, and then he asked me if I was, uh, was ugly as a duckling. I think you might have misunderstood Stitch. See, one of his favorite stories is the ugly duckling. I didn't mis misunderstand anything. He's got it in for me. So I put up those signs around the village to tell Stitch to keep out of my 
favorite places. Smart idea. Good fences make good neighbors. That's not nice. The village is for everyone. Just ditch away the signs. Yeah, it's not your property, dude. Exactly. And like I shared the village with everybody who behaves, but Stitch doesn't behave. He won't even follow the signs. And that's not all. He drew funny pictures all over him. Maybe I can talk to Stitch and try to teach him to respect your property. Thank you. If Stitch doesn't leave me alone, I'm going to fix up that spaceship of his and send him to the moon. One more. Oh, oh, I found the thing in the Sunlit Plateau. I was, when I was planting those, um, uh, cotton plants, I found a thing. It was buried by it. Another time capsule. But this one looks different, and it's locked up tight. Whatever is in here must be super important. I'll try bashing it against the rock for a while. Thank you for your help, Luna. Wait, you never did manage to find a catfish in the ocean. Oh. Ah, but wait, maybe Goofy was right after all. Of course he was right. You should apologize. Let's just forget this whole argument. Never let him find out you're wrong. You should apologize. You're right. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Luna. I'll tell Goofy I'm sorry. And I'll let you know when I figure out how to open this time capsule. Right. Okay. Right. We're looking for Pua. And picking up memories. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Ooh, piggy tracks. Track Pua in the map. Piggy, piggy tracks right here. Oh, piggy tracks right there. More Pua hoof prints. Talk to Moana. Get out of the plants so I don't pick them. If Pua got water, next would be. Getting a tan, finding a weapon for defense, finding something to eat. Yes, and I know where. Remy's place in the village. Pua must have gone there. Let's go see. Oh, I see a treasure box. We never did find our blue box. Oh, I think I had some bags, yeah. They're open to the loves. Blender. And oops. Oh, these are the Donald signs. <laughs> uh, we need to give this to Olaf. This to Ursula. Um, let's go up to restaurant. Oh, just so much to do. I really need to pick like one person and just focus purely on that one person. Ua? Track Pua near the restaurants. What do you guys want? The pepper puffs and pumpkin soup. I went up. The pepper puffs. And pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup sounds disgusting, but soup in general sounds so good right now. It's getting really cold where I live. Well, not really cold. It's just getting cooler. Perfect. Oh yeah, so I got our points. A halfway to getting Simba and Nala unlocked. Did you have a conversation? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 
Good. And then here's your order. Pumpkin soup. Yeah, we we'll love them again. <laughs> Ooh, I leveled. Yes, one more level. Oh, cool bed. And Anna. Oh, uh, hi. A yeah. little chit chat. Blah blah blah. Sandwiches. Huh. We'll talk more soon. Okay. And here's your order. <laughs> and let's grab Stitch's mission. Then we're right here. Here, you and Donald have been having some misunderstandings. <laughs> no misunderstandings. Stitch do prank. Donald go walk. Ha ha ha. Donald is funny Ooh, friend. Blah, blah, blah. Friends, you're pranking Donald because you think it's funny when he's mad. Some people don't like being pranked. Donald get mad. Donald gets mad easily enough without being pranked. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, we'll just go with this one. Let's not make the situation worse. Oh, you want me to stop pranking Donald? Is Stitch Stitch's badness level too high? Don't worry, we'll get it under control. Of course not. You're just a little rambunctious. I'm afraid we're reaching critical levels of badness. I mean, honestly, I'd be messing with Donald too, so... I'm just getting a little rambunctious. <gasps> Stitch will do better, promise. Why don't we start by replacing those signs you drew on? I'll teach you to repair stuff. Let's go fix Donald's signs. We'll need to find hardwood, softwood, and those vandalized signs. Good. Okay, we'll Thank do that you. later. Um, where is Pua's tracks? Hi, I need a little help. Olaf, I have stuff for you. Hi, it's me, Olaf. I'm glad you're here. I have so many questions. Tell oh. a story. Did you talk to Donald and Kristoff? Tell me everything. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Let me close my eyes so I can picture it all in my imagination. Well, it all started on the Sunlight Plateau when they faced down a dragon or possibly a hummingbird. <laughs> this is face. Uh, and that's it. That's everything Kristoff and Donald told me. But that's two completely different stories. Huh. Who do you think was telling the truth? Kristoff. I'm sure you're right. Kristoff's very honest, and his story is more believable. <coughs> but Donald is so much more exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him to help me write the script. This is going to be a play to remember. <sighs> oh, but this story has so many locations. <clears throat> the Sunlight Plateau, the Forgotten Lands, the Forest of Valor. <clears throat> I really should see them all while I write so I can fully capture the ambiance. No problem. I have this thing called a camera. I can use it to take pic some pictures for you. Then you'll be able to look at the them to set the scene. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Thank you, Luna. You're truly a friend of the theater. <gasps> Could you get me pictures uh -huh. of the pillars, of, the pillar of courage in the forest of valor? Uh, the elephant graveyard in the Sunlit Plateau, and the ruins in the Forgotten Lands. Will do. I'll come back soon. Bye don't leave. Bye. Don't leave. Don't leave. Here's your sticks. Get them out of my inventory. Oh, good. You're here. So many sticks, and they're all for me. <gasps> oh, thank you, Luna. Happy. I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> and I'm happy. You're happy. I'm happy. <laughs> See you Wait, soon. one more. Hooray! It's Luna. Oh, um, okay, never mind. Goodbye. Okay, so I wonder if Pua's tracks are down in the meadow because that's originally where the restaurant was, not here. Merlin, I got stuff for well, you too. Hello. Splendid, splendid, Luna. You've performed the enchantment with great success. <laughs> well, don't wait here. Go try it on those pun. Pungent mushrooms. Upgrading our watering can. 
Perfect. No, Mini, I have flowers now. for you. <laughs> so many freaking missions. Oh, thank you, Luna. It's so nice to see flowers again. When I was in the in-between place, I felt safe, but there was no color. So it was a little sad. These flowers are the perfect remedy. You know, I think I'd like to give them to that kind fellow I met, Mickey. Could you help me make a nice arrangement for him? I have the vase we need right here. All it needs is flowers. You can fill it with the uh, hydrangeas, bellflowers, and star lovelies we picked. Oh, it's a cute pot. Okay. There's Pua tracks. I wonder if... Um, the carousel's in the way. Yep. Who would barely touch this food? My friend must have run off right before we got here. There is only one place where Pua could have gone, and it's the castle? I don't think so. The bridge is pretty high. Pua would be scared. The only place to go is the forest. That makes the most sense. If Pua got frightened by something, the long grass and shade from the trees would feel safe. Let's go see. Except for, there's no shade or trees up here. <laughs> Track Pua. Alright, let's see. Pua prints. Oh, there's some Pua prints. Night. Oh, Pua, he's in the night thorn. Oh no, Pua. I got you, little pig pal. Here, standing at your feet. Let me get that for you. <laughs> Hi. Thank you, Luna. You saved my friends. Having Pua here brings back so many memories. I have a feeling we'll need to do something else with the leader shards. I just don't know what yet. We should definitely talk later, okay? Yes. I am one of mission gonna pop or no no okay i think that means now that we have Pua as a little bunny Pua. oh Pua, you're so cute okay let's see um that's what we need pieces for. Search Kristoff's house. Let's do that. Oh, that looks pretty cool with those castles right by each other. Expedition records to Kristoff. Kristoff! Oh, wait. You're right here. Here you go, bud. Hello! Thanks. Let me take a look. Hmm. 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 Tell me you found something. Hmm, maybe this is it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's not good. Eric's last expedition listed here has a big red X beside it. Mm -hmm. That means the ship sank. Oh no. If he was a sailor, I'm sure he could swim. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It says here the ship sank near Skull Rock, out past Dazzle Beach. Maybe you could find some clue in the water. Never know what you might fish up. 
Hey, thanks. Okay. I'll grab this memory. Bibbity bobbity boo. Cinderella. I wonder if we'll ever get like Cinderella in the town. Okay. We need to get rid of some more stuff. We have to craft that. Ooh, let's finish that. Get that Ooh, wizard hat. Hey, look, this is my box. Oh my gosh, look at all the night thorns over here. <laughs> So they didn't go shooting out all over the place. Oh, uh. Then we do a little boop. Yay, we can get rid of the big mushrooms. Wasn't there one? Over there that had like treasure in it? Over there maybe? Oh, that's that one. Yep, this one. Ooh, and that one. Treasure! Money. A ton of night thorns over here. Um, to be honest, there's a ton of night thorns everywhere. <laughs> Did I grab another? Yeah, one of these. Pants. Uh, let's go talk to Merlin. I'll clear out the rest of those mushrooms later. Merlin. Have you guys ever seen that show on Netflix called Merlin? And it's about like Merlin when he was like a young boy and he's like with Arthur and All right now, it's actually really cool. Do. I like it. I haven't seen it in years though. Luna, I'm quite proud of you, you know? You deciphered the enchantment and created magic. Now to mark your status as a true wizard. Here's your very own wizard's hat. Yes! I think that means that Merlin Figitus Figitus is um, complete. His quests are complete. Um, I need that wizard hat on, like, now. Yes! I'm not outfit changing, though. Um, because I really like this dress. But look at our wizard hat! <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's so cool. Okay, but I think with that, guys, we're gonna call it here. <laughs> Uh, next time we have a bunch of quests to do, I'll work on trying to get our 10,000 dream lights. So we can open up the uh, Simba area, Lion King area. And then also I'll work on our picture for our dream snaps. But thank you so much for watching me play Dreamlight Valley today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notifications to watch me play more. And I'll play with you again soon. Bye!